What's going on, YouTube? Well, I have another unboxing video. As you can read from the description, um, I actually was able to purchase some San Diego Comic Con 2019 Funko Pops uh, a little bit before launch. Um, I think San Diego Comic Con is this weekend. They're not s supposed to sell. Maybe it's next weekend. Uh, I don't know when it is. Um, but they're not supposed to sell any of the uh, shared exclusives until the 19th. But I was lucky to pick up some a little early. Um, before I get into that box unboxing, I'll go over a couple of my uh, quick picks or stuff that I picked up in the last two days because lunch money is going on. Um, so is hot cash, but I didn't buy anything from Hot Topic. I think I had hot, hot cash, but they didn't have enough of anything that I wanted to buy. Um, there is some stuff out right now that I'm trying to get complete or I'm trying to complete the collection on. But unfortunately, the Hot Topic that I went into yesterday didn't have any of the stuff that I wanted. I did pick up something for my supervisor, but uh, other than that, I mean, I, I didn't pick up enough to even use hot cash. So, um, without further ado, do box lunch first. Um, I actually had to order three of the pops because they didn't have them in store, but um, I did go ahead and use uh, two of my little coupons. I got Norm Peterson from Cheers. Um, like I said, man, I'm I'm an '80s kid, and I loved Cheers when I was a kid. Oh man, I didn't realize that it has a small crease on the backside right there. Dang, because they had a couple of Norms too. Ah, uh, oh well, it'll be in a soft protector. It's I don't know. Looks like that's a factory crease too. It's not like it was shipped kind of funny or anything, but get a close up of Norm. Norm was always super funny. He was the fall down drunk. We had to have his same seat at the end of the bar. I think the theme song was really made for him. If you ever followed the series. And. Woody. He's washing the glass. That's pretty cool. They even made the glass clear. That's a pretty decent little pop right there. I think after Cheers, he kind of had a nice little uh, acting career for a while. Uh, his real name, Woody Harrelson, Harrelson, something like that. It's kind of crazy that his name was Woody Boyd on the show. I don't know. And <laughs> this, the elusive uh, series that I can't seem to find any pops for a decent price. My comic book store that I shop at, they have quite a few of these pops, but they want like $13 a piece for them. And I'm just not willing to pull the trigger on it just yet. I want to see if I can find them a little bit cheaper. But I did get the Ghost Clown from Scooby-Doo. This is the first pop in the Scooby-Doo set that I've actually came across. Other than the ones at the comic book store, because they got Scooby and Shaggy. But those are the six that are for this set. Uh, I'll eventually, I'll probably end up picking up all six of them if I can find them. But they've been kind of elusive. Uh, as of right now, uh, the lady at the box lunch, she said that they've had them in, they sell right out, but she's pretty, uh, hopeful that they'll have some more. So, or they'll get some more in. Um, I did swing by, uh, the GameStop that's right next to my hot topic because they are running a three for 25 sale. I mentioned it in my last video whenever I picked up the I picked up my Gohans and I think I got Stewart that day for a X for a dollar. Like you can't be like getting a pop for a dollar. But I picked up Raj last night. Like I said, this is another one of those sets that I've kind of been not really debating on. Like I knew I'm gonna I I know I'm gonna pick them up. It's just the fact of like 
I'm just, I don't know. Like, there's no, there's no hurry to it. It's not like something that I know is going to sell out immediately. Um, a lot of a lot of the anime pops, it seems like if you don't get them whenever they come out, if they become popular really fast, you may not get those pops. You might have to wait for a Hot Topic restock or buy them online or something of that nature because there's no there's not a guarantee they're ever going to get them back in the store. And there's other ones like the new Dragon Ball series. They're everywhere right now. So, I don't know. It's kind of hit or miss. Um, especially, like, it seems the more store-exclusive stuff tends to sell faster and it's harder to come by. You need to grab it. When I found out these were going to just be, you know, general release pops, and I seen them in GameStop first, I knew there was no real big hurry. Every GameStop I've been in has had some at some point or another. So, I picked up Amy Fowler. I thought this was kind of cool because it actually has, she has her tiara on. So, I thought it was kind of nice pop. Um, like, I, like I've said in the past, I'm a pretty big fan of Big Bang Theory, even though I still haven't finished the series. I'm actually trying to go back through the series and watch the ones that I've missed. The only catch to that is, like, I don't know where I left off. So, I've pretty much watched all of season five and most of season six, if not all of season six. And I feel like I've watched all of those episodes before. So I might have been on like season eight or nine. I'm not sure. Like I was not that far behind, I didn't think, but maybe I was. And then Howard. It's kind of cool. He's in a spacesuit. It's the little stuff that, that I like about these ones. Uh, like... Penny has a Cheeto in her hair. You know what I mean? It's just that little corny, goofy stuff. But, and I think all the boxes were in pretty good shape. This one has like some, like where it's been moving up and down on something dark. And he has like a little ding right there. And Amy has like a small crease at the top. I don't know if, I probably can't get the camera angle on it. Eh. But she has like a small crease in her box right there. But either way, I got them. They're going to go in soft protectors and they'll be fine. Uh, the ones I got from Box Lunch that are going to be shipped to store is the rest of the uh, Big Bang set. I probably won't do an unboxing or a video about them unless I pick something else up or I get another, like a mystery box or something in. But I did pick up Penny and I picked up... Uh, what the heck was the last one that I needed? Bernadette. Yeah, I needed Bernadette. So, I did pick up both of those, and I picked up Sam uh, Malone from the Cheer set. So, I'm only missing two out of the Cheer set now. <clears throat> and I'm, the Big Bang set's complete once they come in, if they don't come in damaged. So, we'll cross our fingers on that. And then today, I was able to stop at Walgreens, because I've heard all the Walgreens in my area are getting restocks on some of their pops. And I picked up Spider Ghost. Or Spirit Spider. Yeah. Spirit Spider. He was a Walgreens exclusive. I wanted him really bad a while back ago. And I couldn't find him anywhere. <clears throat> Luckily, they popped back up. The, the other ones that popped up were Spider Gwen. Which, I already have that one. And Toxin. I haven't ran into him, but I know he's in the area. And there was one other one, Silk. Silk. I'll probably try to get Silk and uh, and Toxin just because the comics that I read are from the Spider-Man universe and the pops that I really collect the most of are Spider-Man pops other than the anime pops. But as far as Marvel or superhero pops, I do tend to collect more of the Spider-Man series or stuff that's in that genre from his universe. So, well, the moment of truth. Walmart box. It's kind of one of those, I just don't know what to think. You know, it, am I going to open it up and see destroyed pops? Or will they, come, uh, will they come shipped properly? I know they probably won't have any kind of bubble wrap around them. 
It's probably just been thrown in the box. So I'll cross my fingers on this. I got a notification the other day that um, these pops had released at four o'clock in the morning. I got the notification while I was asleep. I noticed it around 6.30 when I was eating my breakfast or six, somewhere around there. And I hurried up and got on. I tried clicking on all the links. And needless to say, only one of them still had pops. Oh, wow. They are not destroyed. They are not destroyed. Like, I'm super excited. And... Leonard Hofstetter as Green Lantern. San Diego Comic Con. And it says 2019 Summer Convention Limited Edition Exclusive. Ooh, thank you, Walmart. I'm kind of salty that I wasn't able to get the other ones. I actually might have to get those online if they don't release on the 19th. Um, there's still a small possibility that they will. But they had a limit of two. They would only let me put two in my cart. I did put two in my cart. And I did get two. And hopefully somebody locally will get any of the other ones. Like, I would trade a Leonard for literally any of the other ones. Just because I do want all of them. And that's one less thing that I would have to order from somewhere else. So... Yeah, buddy. Hmm. Well, if you guys haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Uh, drop a drop a line down in the comment section and let me know what you think. It's pretty cool uh, to get convention exclusives before the convention. <laughs> Their mistake. Hey, it works for me. If you like the video, hit that like. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. You know, it does it does great for the channel. Um, and thanks for watching. Like, I really appreciate you guys watching tonight. Have a nice evening.